my name is Zacharias Johansson and I'm currently riding for Team Ibis and I'm from Sweden. But I actually I got into the scene quite quite late. I went to like a sports school where I actually applied for football and then one of my friends introduced me to downhill I guess but I just went on my regular bike and after I'd done it once I was just hooked and from there I got myself a down bike started to do some races. So from the start I didn't really know Robin that good. Both of us raced uh, started off racing down World Cup but at the time I was racing from for Norway because my mom is from Sweden and my dad is from Norway but we lived in Norway so I would pretty much only see him at the World Cup and I didn't know him that good but for sure when you meet someone else from Scandinavia you start talking. I moved to Sweden to go to uh, a bike academy and that ended up me like doing the Swedish races and all that and then I guess we just came closer and closer. I had one year when I wanted to try doing the EWS and he was on IBIS already then. And that year I pretty much just like borrowed their pit and like snuck in and went into their tent because I didn't have much support at the time. I wanted to, to change from downhill over to Enduro and I decided to do uh, one year when I did the EWS races in Europe. And at the time there was like a European series as well. I figured out that if I skipped all the, the long traveling I could do the European races on the EWS and do the whole, like the full European series. Uh, so that was my plan and I did decent at the Edo, uh, EWS races and uh, learned a lot, which was the plan. And then I ended up uh, winning the European series. And the year after that, I, that's when I got in contact with uh, Ibis for the first time. That was everything I dreamt of and worked of for that long. I mean, traveling the world, riding your bikes and riding all these cool locations that I've seen in movies and also getting the opportunity to race the, the fastest boys in the world was pretty cool as well. I have one of the, not the overall overall, but like the overall from one of the races. I have, still have that little um, trophy at home. So yeah, that was pretty special coming in first year and doing that together with uh, a great team. After changing team for a few years, I, I mean, I wanted, back then I wanted to change team just to learn, I guess, like figure out the industry, see how it worked with a, a bigger team and manufacturer, I guess you can say. And uh, after a, a while there, I, I realized that what was important for me was having uh, partners that I could rely on that made great products. and most importantly have the people that I wanted to have around me to help get the, the best out of me. Beginning of last year I uh, got the opportunity to sign back with the IBIS which I was super super happy about. Off season been real good. We have a really cool training group back home in Sweden where I live where a lot of the actually some of the world best bike riders are involved in this group so we're, it's easy to evolve and push each other which is super good environment. We have been having a few good training camps as well to Finale and Madeira and just got a lot of riding in and in a lot of different locations and different terrain and I guess that is key for me so we should be on point. So the last couple of years I've been pretty consistent uh, overall and um, why that is is hard to answer but I think I'm pretty good at handling risk versus reward I guess on the, on the bike and like racing that I, I know where I can push and I know where it's worth slowing down a little bit just to make sure you don't crash or like lose more of that time than you need to and like I said just have a comfortable bike and bike setup helps you know where that limit is. Changing team last year and being a bit of a situation there before the the season that I, like being without a ride for a few weeks and not sure if I could continue doing this I mean that helps you bring back the fire I guess and motivation and after doing pretty decent last year, that fire is still there and I know that uh, I for sure want to get back on the podium again. So yeah, I followed the same recipe last, we did last year together with my coach and made a few small difference just to try to level up. But yeah, pretty much just putting in the work all over again. <laughs> It's been super fun being back here in Twila Wally. I mean, the weather, first of all, the weather been a lot nicer than last time we were here and now actually it started raining again, but it's been a few days with sun, so it's been a great experience riding the trails dry and fast and it's, uh, it's incredible how many trails there is around here and uh, the riding is really, really good, so I've been enjoying it. I mean, you definitely, like all, all other races, you need to push pretty hard, but the, I mean, the, the margin for error here is pretty small because the trails are pretty uh, tight and narrow and uh, with the weather changing all the time as well, it's like pretty hard to, 
hard conditions to race in, but uh, I'm looking forward to it.